Muslims and Jews both start off with the three fathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Yes. And they go on to the 12 sons, uh, but Muslim, if I'm not mistaken, it branches out to Ishmael. Yeah. Right? With Christianity, it continues on with the Jewish line. No. But then it branches off in, in after the first temple. Yeah. It branches off. Yeah. You know what I'm sure? saying? You know what I'm saying? Christianity has got nothing to do with the prophets of the Bible. Christianity has got nothing to do with the prophets of the Bible? Yes. You know why? I can give you many proofs. Go on. I can give you many proofs. Abraham yeah. is the father of religion, as you believe. Abraham believed God to be one, not three persons in one. David, God to be one, not yes. three persons in one. Correct. Moses, to believe God in one, not three persons in one. I agree with you. Isaiah, same. Yes. Isaac, Jacob, all of them same. Jeremiah, same. Correct. Prophet Muhammad, we believe same. Prophet God to be one, not three in one. So now you tell me Christians, God to be three in one. So are you it's telling true. me Christians? When it comes to Judaism, we agree with you. Yeah. 100%. So how can God come from female private parts and the Bible says the uh, in Old Testament, not New Testament. Old Testament, it says a man, no man can become clean if he comes up from female private part, from woman. So, so now what I'm asking is, if Jesus is God and we know he came out from his mom's private part and the Bible says God cannot be, God is clean, is not unclean. I don't know what the argument is on the female private part. No. In, in Judaism, in, in no, Judaism we believe that the woman yeah. is very high up, she's, she's complete, she's perfect. Yeah, I know. We don't believe the woman to be any sort of derogatory. That's why in Judaism there are 613 laws. Yeah. Only three of them apply to women. Uh -huh. The rest? The rest are all just for men. Okay. Why? Because the woman is a... Why? Because they said all Jewish... Most Jewish deeds yeah. are tied down to a timing, you know? Yeah. Like Muslims pray five times a day. Yeah. We pray three times a day. Uh -huh. uh, Muslims have a certain marriage yeah. um, sequence where you have to give over something of worth. It's a bit closer it's to Judaism. It's very close. It's, yeah, more it's very close. Even Old Testament is I about Quran. Say, I would even say have it's you more recited or less the Quran? Same thing. I haven't learned the Quran. I unfortunately If don't you know much. read the Quran, it's okay. very similar to yes. Old Testament Tanakh. That makes sense. I, I heard that before. Yes, right. it is that. very similar. Now, with, with the Jewish law, when it comes to female private, I don't know. But what I can no, tell you is, no, the, it doesn't make sense I, that God would come down into a human form. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is, do you know, when you say God came out from female private part, that's blasphemy to God. The Christians... I don't have blasphemy, I yeah, agree, no, it's no, it's a blasphemy. Okay, because how can, you tell, how can you tell God born came from his mom? Yeah, so we believe that... Is that God, not blasphemy? There's one thing about God that is there's infinity. And for no one person, can, yeah. God is not a person, God is not tied down to any sort of one being. God is something which is infinite. Everything has a life of God. If you look at the trees, yeah. everything's a part of life. If you look at the way the grass grows, the way yeah. the animals are, everything basically is the infinity of God. Yeah. The infinity of infinity of the godly life. But you agree with me that yeah, yeah, God no, no, cannot no, 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 come Judaism. out yeah. from female private no, parts. Because Jesus is born. If you say Jesus is I God, what, I agree with you. Yeah. I just don't agree the way you're saying it. Blasphemy. No, no. I because because I don't I, I don't enjoy saying that God created something yeah. and then it's unholy if it comes from it. It's but like the Bible. It, it's Tanaki not like it obviously doesn't come from because he but created. Tanaki How can it that. come from something that he created? It's also a different question. No, I'm saying that's Tanakh. It says that. Yeah, so, I can give you the verse. Go on. Go on. And if you open uh, Job chapter twenty chapter twenty five verse four. Can you open Which for me that verse? Tanakh, Job, Ayub. You call Ayub, prophecies? yes? Prophecies? Which one? Ayub, prophecies Ayub. or scriptures? And uh, prophecies. And scriptures. Scriptures? Yeah. Um, to whom? Which chapter? And 25, 4. <laughs> I found it, I can't find it yet. No, it's sorry, it's job 15 4, not 25. Job? Yeah, here. Job Which one is 15 job? 4. Avoid them, avoid them. Job. It's Ayub, I think you call Ayub. 
We say Ayub. Ayub. We say Ayub. I don't know what you say Ayub. in Judaism. Ayub. Ah. Ayub, yes, Ayub. We say Ayub. Ayub, Ayub. Same yeah. Word, it's 15 4, yeah? Chapter 15 4. Chapter 15 4. 15, 4. Uh, oh, even the other one it says the same. 25 4 is the same. You say, read, read what you say, and then I find my Yeah. Story. I found two verses. Even chapter 25, verse 4, and chapter 15 also. It says, How then can a mortal be righteous before God? How can one born of a woman be pure? So if we say Jesus is God, and he ah, born... I know what he's saying. I know what he's saying. Yeah. So if we say Jesus it's is God... Saying, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. If it's we very, say, very interesting. Yeah. So, Why? Why? Why is it like that? Yeah, if, if we say Jesus is born from a woman, and he's God, and he's born from wom a woman, that means Jesus, which is God, is unclean. Because it says here, a man who is born from a woman is, can never be un unclean. So which basically, in, another word, in other words, is like me saying Jesus is God and he's unclean. Why? Because he born from a woman. So, so I have one for you. In Judaism, the reason yeah. why we say that... And it says both phases. Something, not just something you have to learn. Something chapter 25, verse religion, 4. We all know. And chapter 15, verse 14. Deep down we know in religion, don't take yeah. every word literally for what it means. We already know that, you know? Yeah. It's, it's metaphorically. Now, what is it? what's another metaphor for it? Because when a woman gives birth, she is playing with life and death. Yeah. And death, as we know, is, is not, it's impure. You know, life is pure, death is impure. Yeah. If you, in Judaism, if we find something that is impure, we touch something that is impure, that is dead, we then have to go through a cleansing process called the mikvah. Yeah. We go into a big bath of water, yeah. which is uh, made up of rainwater as well, uh -huh. and we purify ourselves. So when a woman, when she gives birth, she's playing between life and death. Yeah. She has the possibility of dying as well, yeah. as much as the baby has the possibility of dying, yeah. never mind that they're going to live through as well, both of them. So what happens is, because she plays with this death, she almost has to kill a part of the baby inside her yeah. in order for it to live on its own. Yeah. So that death that happens is impurity. And therefore, if that is impure, how can you be pure if you come from, from death? No, what I'm saying... And that, no, it's the same thing what you're saying. It's yeah. coming from death. It's coming from impurity. Death is impure. No, but the verse is not talking about death. No, this, this is the deep meaning. No, deep meaning, no, no. That's what you think. But also, I have seen rabbis, Jewish scholars, saying the same as what I'm saying. So I think you don't know more than, than your rabbis. Yes? I don't know more than rabbis. No. So, thank you. <laughs> I'm not a rabbi so that's what rabbis are saying. God cannot be unclean. It's true. God always is clean. It's true. So the verse is tell, tell, tells us any man who is born from a woman is unclean. Can we, can we talk one second about the, the Shema, the, the main Pasuk in, in Judaism? It says that, that God is one. Yeah. God is one. There's no exceptions. There's nothing, nothing outside of God. The yeah. entire creation and everything before and after is all God. Yeah. Right. So including including everything is God. So you you think everything is God? Everything is God. Everything is God. So so what's your definition by uh, by the word of God? The the meaning of the word itself, God. Which word? Because it has many meanings. God, 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 God. Just God. The English word. The English I don't know. Word, English don't know. <laughs> so what's your definition of uh, God in God in Hebrew? Well, there's a few different names. There's few. There's no, one. No, I'm not talking about the names. So there's the main the one. The definition of God. One. Oneness. Oneness. Achdut. Oneness. Oneness. If, that, if you want to talk about the general name, it's one. It's, it's, it's How do you say God in Shalem. Hebrew? Shalem. 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 Elohim. Elohim is another word. Elohim, Elohim. Elohim is another yes. name for God. El Shaddai. That, that is the name of judgment. El Shaddai. Oh, El Shaddai. El I had El Shaddai. El Shaddai. No, you, I had that name. We don't, we don't say it. Uh, Who says we don't that? Say no. it. We say the full word. We don't say the full word. So we change the letters. Same word. Oh, so we okay. say Shakai. Oh, because we don't say oh word you say El Shaddai. No, no. Yeah. What you said, what yeah. you said is correct. Oh, okay. But because I'm not saying it in prayer, oh, okay. I can't say the full proper word. So I say Shakai instead. Okay. So oh, when I say okay. Shakai, I mean what you said with the Oh, okay. So, so what? What? So what is the definition of God? So that if if you're saying everything can be God, everything so I think we got different. Not can be. Everything is no it's question, infinity. no exception. The entire creation from beginning to end, also before, also after, all God. So okay. So when you saying everything is God, that does that mean when you're worshiping, you also worship the tree? No, 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 no. no because no, you no, believe no, everything no, is God. Worship. No, no, no. This is idol. We worship God. No tree. But you said everything is God. No tree, no tree. Life, hold on. The life that comes through. Well, if we look at a tree, let's say, for example, yeah. the tree is birth coming over years and years of a fork and branch. Yeah. I just met you. 
Now that is a godly presence. When the world was created, we, we learned that Manifest in all of its creation. I met you. The yeah. fact that I met you is something that happened. God is all of creation. When the world was created, you see. When the world was created, yeah, we were excited that I will meet you. So yeah, no the light. No separation. No separation. You say, you say salam alaikum. Shalom alaikum. Oh, it's the same yeah. as salam alaikum. Salam alaikum salam. Yeah. So what what I'm saying is. You guys are brothers and we love mothers. So the thing is about God, it's yeah. infinity. We have a big thing of that God is everything throughout the day, anything that happens, not that everything is God, everything is a past. God has been spread out. We believe as people, every single person here yeah. has a soul. Every single person has a piece of that God inside of him. God, so God spread out through everything. There's a, that infinity, that, that's why we're all one. That's why every human on mankind is all one. We all have one mission. All, that's the whole thing of that uh, God lives on. Yeah, God is but constant. In Islam, the way we de define the word God, Allah, you say Allah, anyways, you know Allah. So Allah, we say the tree is not Allah. Not everything is Allah. We only believe Allah is Allah, the one who created. Yes, Allah's creation. But we believe we are all belong to Allah. Yeah. But we don't say the tree is God. As you said, everything you believe is no, God. Everything has a everything has been created by God. Everything uh, has a form of life. Like that tree has a form of life. Every yes. animal has a form of life. <laughs> we, we have something called klipa. Klipa is the skin, it's a coating. It's like, um, it, Klipa is the same word, the orange peel, the peel that comes off the orange, is the same word, it's called, it's called Klipa, Klipa of the orange. So, so uh, um, the, there's things in the world that are Klipa. Yeah. For example, things that are Haram is, is made up of Klipa, but the Klipa itself is also, is also even though we don't touch it, we know, don't touch it. It's also directly from God, and we talk about in, in the times of, of, of Mashiach Messiah that that we'll we'll see that the, the klipa we'll see it clearly the the, 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 the the connection between God. Right now, it's very hard to see things that are haram is directly from God. Yeah. It's very hard to see. We we, we we walk down the street, we see something that's haram, and it, it hurts. It hurts uh, and can I ask you? Um, you know, as I believe in. In Judaism, they don't believe Jesus, yes? We believe in his existence. We don't believe how the Christians believe in his divinity. So you don't believe Jesus to be... Messiah, no. Yeah, no, he's not Messiah. To us, no. To the so who is the Messiah, according to you? We don't have an official person, but what we do believe is Messiah. No, you believe the Messiah is going to appear. We believe in a Messiah, yeah. In As fact, Muslims believe. In fact, we also believe more than that. We believe the Messiah is coming before the year 6000. Okay. Uh, the before Jewish the year 6000? Before the year 6000. God created the world in seven days. Okay. Yeah? And the six days and the seventh day he rested. Right? Okay. So, and they also say that for God, a thousand years is almost like one day. We can't tell what time it is. So we say that God is going to bring them aside before 6,000 years, and then for the last thousand years is going to be the rest of the world. You know, it will be utopia. So basically he rested peace. the seventh day. So the seventh day he rested, the 7,000th year will so be what, the ultimate what, utopia what of the do world. Mean, what do you mean by saying God rested? Do you think God is like us? He can tired. He can get tired. No, 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 no not can get tired. There's so why would you say God rested? That means who rests? God Someone himself tired. said. God himself, he didn't say he's tired. But you rest, on, you the only rest I, when you're tired. So like we have the Sabbath. On, on yes. the so when we on the sun, I don't see it as a day of rest. I see it as a day of of recharge. Yeah. You know, because it's very nice and proper for someone to work seven days a week, but they're gonna they're gonna wear out eventually. But how can you compare God and His creation? Because God created us from Him. I know, but God, according right. to the Tanakh, yeah. in the book of Isaiah, yeah. it says none is like Him. Right, but we, we come from him. No, I know none is like him, which means God is not like his creature, his creations. So when I said he rested, I didn't say he's tired, just said he rested. Yeah, because you can only rest. The word rest is only when you're tired. No. Otherwise, if I'm not tired, why would I rest for? Do you sleep every night? But what, uh, that's you means I'm tired night? because I'm tired. Do you sleep every night? Yeah, I'm tired. But maybe you didn't do so much work yesterday and you do a lot of no, work today. No, but still you sleep. Still you sleep. What happens if you don't sleep? Then your body goes, your body starts running. So you're saying God becomes like that if he doesn't rest? No, what I'm saying is that God uh, had to create us from himself. We are but from we the Muslims, divinity. We Muslims believe God cannot get tired. In we the Quran, get tired. no, I'm saying in the Quran, yeah. Allah said he never rested even after he created the world. Can you, can the you heaven explain and earth. I don't know the way the Muslims yeah, believe. Yeah, we Muslims believe everything, everything that can cause. What was the, what was the stages of creation? 
the sage of grace is the same, six days. And the seventh day? Seventh day, no, he never rested. He doesn't say that. What does it say on the seventh day? No, he doesn't tell us what God did. It just did says six days. days. Yeah. Okay. Six days. But there's no. Allah told us in the Quran, he never rested after completing the creation of heaven and earth. So he never rested? Yes, because resting, the word resting, opposite of rest is tired. You can say that in one way. No. I agree with you in yeah. one way. But because unless way, if I'm not tired, how can you sleep? How can you rest if you're not tired? Well, that means you're active. That means you're active. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, rest doesn't mean you're tired. Rest means I need to recharge for the next six days. But so you telling me? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, recharge means. Yeah, that means I, I don't the same. Say rest because technically I know personally. Because you tell me God myself, recharged himself. Myself, I know I can work nine days. But if I work ten days, I'm going to be gone. Do you know we be Muslims believe Go on. God does not rest anything and which is negative which is described to humans we cannot describe to god so like you, example so go example now god allah we believe he does not eat he does not produce children he does not have parents he does not sleep not take a nap he does not rest but you say in your book says god rested so rest that means you saying no, you rest to recharge okay fight. let's say you recharge yourself yeah. so you saying god recharged himself we believe whatever God does, he created a physical world. I think that word is a bit um, it's a, it's a bit, it's a harsh bit to God. I, I, I admit to myself that the word is a bit understood because rest doesn't mean tired. But yeah. you rest, you How say to I, recharge you yourself. Say that God gets tired? I, 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 but impossible. by resting, you get tired. I agree Otherwise, with you. you cannot rest. I agree with you. God and you rest. recharge yourself. You're saying God is like human. We're not saying God is like human. I'm saying Why would you in recharge order for himself? the human to exist comes from God. And so in order for rest to exist for us, God had to create it for himself because if we come from him, if we come from that, yeah. how are we going to rest? We're humans. We need to rest. But God is not like human. Do you know what correct. God said? Correct. Wait, 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 brother. Do you know in, correct, correct. Do you know Tanakh what it says? I don't know all of Tanakh. No, I can give you Tanakh. It. it says in Numbers, yeah. chapter 23, verse 19, even in Hosea, chapter 11, verse 9, it says, God said, I'm not a man. I'm not human. That means you cannot describe God same as human. He has to right. be different order, than his in creations. In order for God to create rest, yeah. he had to make it exist within himself. No, if Before he said God he give, rested, if then God, God that means... God not create a tree if trees never existed. How can God create something which was never even no, but a what, thing? How what I'm talking about... The knowledge that there was a tree and then God created a tree. So what he had to do is he had to bring down the knowledge into this world but what I'm to talking, make it existent. But what I'm talking about... In Islam, we don't say God rested or recharged himself. That's, God that, that is, according to Islam, is blasphemy in so, Islam. So we don't see it as blasphemy. We see it as, a, you, okay. we see it as an element so, of creation. So that means if you accept... He created rest. In rest okay. he had to create no, he created, rest. but he cannot rest God. Because he's all powerful. We also believe that do you God believe is, God is we, all powerful? We also believe that God is recreating the world every second. No, do you believe every God is all powerful? Because without God, the world would still exist. Okay, do you believe God is all powerful? Correct. If all, I believe if all God, is God, not okay. just all powerful. Anything okay. that you see in the world is God. Yeah. Oh no, in Islam, everything is which is positive, all uniques are for God. So what about the negatives? God does not have negative. He doesn't have negative. No. This is the beauty of it. God is unlimited. Yes. If you're unlimited, no. how can you be limited so, by only no. positive? What, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if you say God rested and recharged himself, Basically, you are trying to put similarity between God and his creations. But we Muslims don't do that. Okay, for the, uh, for the sake of argument, let's say for the sake of the discussion, so then these Christians would say, if you accept God rested same as humans, then why would you reject God becoming a man? That would be, that, that is, that's what they're going to say. Yes, that's I, a good I, argument. I, argument. I, I don't, I don't think it's a good argument. Personally. No, it's a good argument. If you, you are you're saying comparing apples to oranges, no, because you're doing the same. I'm you're not, comparing God and I'm His I'm not saying God rested. I said God we had to create rest. In order to create rest, he had. But to you said God rest. rested. That's what the Bible yes, says that's in what Psalm. The Bible says. In Psalm chapter four. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, in Psalm, in David, the book of David. First day he created light and dark. Second day he created. That's. Um, second day he created light and dark. Second day was the, the, the heavens. No, no, Allah, mountains. Kids, no, we believe he created Saturday, the heavens and the earth. No, we First believe Saturday, the last thing he created, Allah, he created was Adam. Correct. We believe he created Correct. on Friday. Correct. Saturday he created just a before, clay. Saturday he, he created clay. Sunday he created mountains, I think. And then third day and trees. 
fourth day and light and light and Tuesday he created the and, sea life. No, he created the this what we dislike, Makru. We so we call it Makru. What we dislike. And the fifth day he created light. The fifth no. So by us we created the heavens and the earth, first day. Yeah. Second day was light and dark. Yeah, I know. You the say day was the, the fourth. Trees and you the say vegetation. the fourth day light. The fourth day was yeah, the, the, ocean light. And the, sea the light. fifth day is light. Fifth no. Second day is light. Or the first. Second day is light. No, second day. Sun. I mean, sorry. Fifth day is sun. Sun and moon was came with like, fourth. Yeah. I think fourth or fifth. It says with fourth or fifth. Creation of the actual world itself. Yeah. And then it says on the sixth, on the fifth day, he created animals. Uh -huh. And on the sixth day, he created. Yeah, the sixth animals. day. We also say that. Animals. Sixth day. Now on the seventh day, in order to introduce this idea into the world of rest, yeah. God had to rest himself to create it. That's part of the creation. Is that God rested? And then we come down in human and say, listen, if God rested, that means we have to rest. And that is the Sabbath that we have on no, the seventh no, day. No, what I'm saying, we cannot put similarity, I mean likeness, between God and his creations. In Islam, we believe whatever humans do, God doesn't do. All negative things. All negative. So we believe Allah does not have negative. Whatever he does, does Allah not... Allah doesn't have negative. No, the whatever negative had to be created by Allah. Okay, it doesn't matter. But what I'm saying, so no, the himself. The negative comes from God himself. No, himself, I'm saying, whatever we describe ourselves, yeah. which is negative, has got nothing to do with God. Let's say now, example, humans use toilet, eat food, sleep. Do you believe God sleeps? I believe God has a part of him that has the ability to comprehend sleep in a spiritual manner. I don't think he sleeps physically like we sleep. No, obviously, but he's good. He's all powerful. Uh, but he has sleep comes from him. Sleep is him. Okay. Do you understand what I'm coming from? Yeah. No. So that's up. That's my. Opinion. No. What I'm saying, just to think about that, and as I said already before, Allah, whatever He gives out, that nothing can reduce His kingdom. Whatever God gives out. Prophet told us whatever God gives out, whether it's kingdom, money, health, whatever, that does not increase the kingdom of God. The only difference is you say he's come from God. When he says it, it's when he says it. So come. what I'm saying. Are you a Messianic Jew? Messianic Jew. I believe in a Messiah. I don't think I believe in this. But he doesn't believe the Messiah. Jesus is not Messiah. He doesn't believe. No, he doesn't believe that. I did ask him. Yeah, I did ask him. So now I'm asking what I'm saying. What do you believe about Prophet Muhammad? What do I believe about Prophet Muhammad? Touchy yes. subject. Very touchy. No, do you believe, I believe him to be a prophet? According to Jewish law, I believe that he might have had some sort of spiritual power and spiritual connection. Uh -huh. But he is not a prophet amongst the Jewish scriptures. But you believe he's a prophet. Some Jews believe, believe rabbis he I was believe, a prophet. I believe in non-Jewish prophets as well. Yeah, he was sent to them Jews. But I don't believe that he, he is. He was sent to Jews. You don't, don't believe, believe that? Jews, yeah, so. I know. But you believe he's a prophet, not to, but to Gentiles. So I believe he's a prophet. Prophet is a debatable word. I believe he had connections to God and spiritual power above the average human being. Okay, so now I'm asking, yeah. do you know in Islam, we believe Prophet Muhammad, he was an illiterate. Okay. Illiterate, you know the meaning, yes? Yeah, yeah. Um, you, yeah. yeah. Okay, do you know in Isaiah, do you believe your rabbis or your Tanakh first? What comes first, Tanakh or rabbis? So, Torah in Judaism has yeah. two parts. Yeah. The written law yes. and the oral law. Yes. Now, the written law is the Tanakh. It's Tanakh. written. Yes, that's what I'm asking now. now so, which one comes first? There's, an, there's no first. Okay. There's a written law called the Tanakh. Okay. And, and the Torah. Yes. Then there's the oral law, what the rabbis teach us. Yes. Now, there's a law. In, in the Torah that says you should make yourself, you should, you should appoint yourself a rabbi yeah. and you should go according to his word and we believe one above that, that even the rabbi's word can dictate the law of the Torah itself. Can, can, can he... It, it can't go against, yes. but what it can do is that it can, because the Torah is written in a way where we can't take absolutely everything literally for what it says, uh -huh. so we have to have a rabbi who has to explain it. Okay. So we have to have a rabbi who's able to explain yeah. it to you. Yeah. So in order for him to explain it, it means you have to have the oral law. Yeah. So the oral law can dictate. So 
Yes, we have the Tanakh, which is our written law, but if the rabbis say that what this actually means, we believe the rabbis what it actually means. Okay, so now I'm asking... So the final say is the rabbi, but the original is the Tanakh. Okay, answers. what if the Tanakh, the text, is plain to understand? Do you still need rabbi? Yes. Let's say now, in Tanakh, Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 12, it says, the illiterate will be given a book and he will be asked to read. And he will say, I do not know how to read. Who is that illiterate? It could be anyone. Okay, do, do you have any exp an explanation from any rabbis here? Can explain? I, I, I'm sure you could probably find a rabbi that can. And explain. you agreed with me, Prophet Muhammad, who was an illiterate. You know, in Islam. I, I don't know Muhammad personally. No, I'm saying like Prophet you, Muhammad. Saying, no, I'm if saying. If you Prophet, say illiterate, I'll believe you. Yeah, Prophet Muhammad was an illiterate. Okay. In the book of Isaiah, it says, chapter 29, verse 12, the illiterate will be given a book and he will be asked to read and he will say, I do not know how to read. In Sahih al Bukhari, hadith, in hadith Islamic yeah, but sources. I can find you an illiterate sitting on the street. No, 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 I'm just saying, no, thing. that description I'm saying, right. his time, it says, so I believe that that the is angel, Muhammad, angel that Gabriel Muhammad. came to him in the cave, angel Gabriel asked angel, uh, Prophet Muhammad to repeat what the angel recited, because sorry, because in Islam, I cannot say the angels, he or she, yeah, in Islam, because we are not sure, we don't the know Hebrew, the gender. The Hebrew language yeah. is divided between male and female. Yeah, yeah. So the reason why they might say he and God is he yeah. is because the language refers the language in, in, a, he. in a masculine that's what we say. context. Yeah, in Islam, that's what we say. Yeah, yeah, I know, in Islam we it's say like, that. It's like they're saying because tree yeah. is it. Yeah. It doesn't mean the tree is male. Yeah, it just no. means the word for tree is a masculine word. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, even in Islam, yeah. Allah, we use, we, when you are referring Allah, we refer him as he. Yeah. But it does not mean he's a male. We don't know the gender. Correct. Allah has no gender. We Correct. believe we don't know about Allah. We, so, we do know. He's everything. No, he's everything. He's everything and anything. No, everything positive, negative. I, I, we personally believe that negative can't come from, from somewhere else. No, we all you we know. know we all the only we can only describe Allah the way He described Himself. Like Allah said, His nur, His light. Correct. His light. Yes. Is, but does that mean light or does that mean power? No, light is all powerful. He said he's qawi, which means powerful. So light, we also believe it's light. It's nur, it's light. light. Yeah, nur. In, 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 the, in the Hasidics, in the yeah. deep so, teachings of so the Torah. Let me come to the yeah. point. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 10 to 12, it says God is speaking to his people, Israelites. In Tanakh, every time God speaks, we know as Muslims, yeah. God is speaking to the children of Israel. Sure. Agree? And you agree with me, Tanakh is for Israelites. So Tanakh says yes. in Isaiah chapter 28, 28 verse 10 to 12, he's speaking to his people, Israelites, said... Yeah, yeah you can join. Thanks about no, no, just listen, you listen know. Listen and join yeah. yeah. So in Tanakh it says, God will speak to his people. Who are the people here? Israelites. Correct with a foreign language. Why does it say that? With a new Isaiah lips. Isaiah 29 doesn't say that. No, Isaiah 28, chapter 10, verse 12. So, so now you tell me, what language was God speaking to his people, other than Arabic. Hebrew, Arabic. Arabic, yes. Thank That's you. the language they spoke in the region. Do you understand that? came in Mount Sinai. No, do you understand that? that? No, but they were in Mount Sinai. No, but... Where do we receive the Torah? But, where, you know, did, where did Jews receive no, the Torah? Let me answer that question. Where did, where did Jews receive the Torah? In Egypt. In Egypt? Yes. So Mount Sinai. Expect them to speak Chinese Mount Sinai. No, no, what I'm saying is... No, what I'm saying is... In Isaiah chapter 28, verse 10 to 12. Camera. Camera, come here. Technology coming through. Come here. This is... Chapter 28, verse 10 to 12, okay, so where it says God will speak to his people in a foreign language. Chapter 28, verse 10 which to means 12. this is Quran. For it is command for it for it is commandment by commandment. Yes. Command by command and line by line. Yeah. Line by line. Yes. A bit here and a bit there. Yes. For as Listen. if with un in, in what does it say? I'm very bad at reading. Unintelligible speech. Yes. And in another tongue. Yes. Okay. Does the one speak to his so, nation? Yes. Then he tells them, This is the true rest, give them to the weary. See? Can you show me a transmission 
regarding this verse after the prophets that clarifies that this verse is regarding Muhammad? Yes, I can give you. Okay. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 12. Can you show me a transmission up to him that clarifies that this is regarding Muhammad? That Because Prophet Muhammad was an illiterate. Okay, can you show me, okay, answer wait. my question, wait, wait, answer my yeah. question. Can you show me a transmission up to the prophets that clarifies that this verse is regarding Muhammad? Yes, I'm, 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 I'm trying to explain. Show me a snap. Show me a snap. Show me a snap. Uh, the, what, this is what, yeah, from the hadith you want. Okay, yes, yes. You want from the hadith? No, no, wait. This is what Christians do when they come with Isaiah 53. Yeah. And they say that Jesus died Hello. for us. Yeah. What you're doing isn't very Jesus. different because you're not yeah. taking yeah. the Torah in the yeah. fullness of the Torah. And rather, you're looking at it in verses. Uh -huh. And this is what Christians do when they interpret, right, brother? When they interpret Isaiah 9, 6. When they no, Isaiah 9, 6, we know that one. It's got nothing to do with Jesus. Again, but I'll tell you the same No, I, the context, the context. Itself. And the context. So now, okay, now, okay, for the sake of the discussion, you tell me who is God referring in Isaiah chapter 29, verse 12? Who is the pro illiterate prophet do you have in Judaism? Tell me. I will accept that Isaiah challenge. 29, 12? 12, yes. Where does it say the prophet in Isaiah? 29, okay, you tell me who is that? It doesn't even use, wait, okay. wait, 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 it doesn't even use the word illiterate. The word there is wait, 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 wait. it says he won't know it. No, yes, it says true. illiterate. I have it. I have the Hebrew. I have the Hebrew um, text here. Yes, I have it. Here. Twenty-nine ten. Twenty-nine ten. Yeah. Wait, Isaiah. Twenty-nine twelve. Isaiah twenty-nine twelve. Hebrew. Here. Here, look. Look. I'm using the Hebrew to English. But we, yeah. okay, but that's, let's listen, Look listen, here. Listen, listen, listen. He says, Lo yodati and, it a sefer. Yeah. Lo yodah sefer. Uh, not, can you move the camera? Move the, the, camera. the book. He doesn't, it's not that he's illiterate, it's look that he it, does not the know the, the book. Look, look here. Hebrew refutes you, it doesn't say okay, that. Look okay, here. listen, Siraj, Siraj, listen, Siraj, Siraj. Okay, wait, wait. Siraj, Siraj, excuse listen. me, excuse me. Can I, okay. Are you telling me that the camera is more important than the, per, the person? No, I'm saying you come here. Siraj, okay. Sorry, bro. No, I don't mean Siraj. Uh, the camera. Siraj, as Jews, yeah. we rely only on the Hebrew. We uh -huh. don't rely on any translation, nor the King James, uh -huh. nor the Safari translation that you're bringing up there. Uh -huh. Rather, we rely on the Hebrew, which is the language that's been perfectly preserved okay. since the time of Moses. Okay. So again, unless you're going to go to the exact Hebrew, not some transliteration of the Okay, Hebrew. you tell me Correct. what's your understanding from this verse. Who is okay. this person who was given the book? No, first so of all, who is this no, person, Judaism. illiterate person? Okay, so can, what, can, so I saying, can I start by saying in Judaism? Uh, it doesn't uh, say illiterate. We do not know no, who illiterate, it says. It who Hebrew does not know how to read? No, it doesn't say no. read. Where, where is the word read? He won't know the Sefer. He won't know the Sefer. He won't understand the book. Okay, so is this translation, this one wrong, different? No, that is 100% wrong. So this translation is wrong. Hebrew. It's so you tell me Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew is wrong. You are on the translation. So okay, you tell me this uh, the Hebrew word by word. Tell me. It says here and it was delivered. It's not delivered. Yes. It's given. Okay, delivered and given is the same. No, not necessarily. Oh if I give you a delivery, no. if I deliver to no. you, okay, I mean, that's 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 to okay give you, okay, give so you is the same. This anyways. is your Let him finish. Let him finish. The book. Let him finish. On Asher, which Loi not Yodea, no Sefer, the book. Nemo, which says... What, is not this word here? No. Illiterate. No, Yoda is not illiterate. Yoda is knowledge. What it says? It's knowledge. It's knowledge. You will not have what the knowledge. Says, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. You will not have the knowledge of the book. Okay. So, okay, you will not have the knowledge of the book. That means I can tell you, it's like I give you Harry Potter and other books. That's what it's basically saying. Okay, so, so you're saying the translation is wrong. The English translation. The English translation is wrong. So now I'm asking if it's not Prophet Muhammad, who is this person? So it's regarding the Jews. No, you tell me. Let me finish. We don't let me speak. It's regarding the Jews who aren't keeping the Torah. Uh -huh. Now, when they'll be given the book, uh -huh. they'll say we won't know the book. It's very mm -hmm. simple. What you do is you don't look in the Torah. Okay, no, who is this person? It's just one person. No, no. Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish because you're not listening. It says who is going to receive the book? Who will be given the book? A man or a man? Many. I want. It's, does it say the book will be given? A man or man? He says given. He said give. The Natan has sefer and yes. the book will see and the book will, be, will be given. given. Thank you. Wait, wait. Okay. Al Asher lo yoda. Unto those uh -huh. Asher, those the people. It's not necessarily just one. Uh -huh. that, you know, it says okay, one. carry on. I will carry on. I, will, I, I need the last bit. To those who do not know sefer lemo, the book which says Quran no ze. Read this, and they will tell you, no, we do not know this book. It says we, no, I do not know. Your dati. Oh, you okay, so when I speak, actually. when I speak to a singular person, yeah. it says I will not know. It doesn't say. Thank you. So okay, okay. Right, right. Yeah, it so says we not. will. 
It says, yeah, they're saying each individual. No, wait, I need the translation still. As a man, yeah. he will come and give the book to the people. Yes. And the people will say, I don't know this book. But how many people? Because, no, because. So why, people, why because many people but one? Because I can't speak for him. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, I don't know this book. And then he's going to tell you, I don't know this but book. But it doesn't say that. It says only one person. It doesn't say one. No, according to this context, it's no, one no, person. No, is a singular. It's so one wait, person. Come on, Mr. Come on. When the Torah says, the Torah speaks I want in this one person. Who is this one person? The Torah speaks in because the verse, speak. the context oh says goodness. one person will receive Saraj, a book. Saraj, Saraj, you don't understand this. Okay. When the Torah speaks in singular, it's referring uh -huh. to many. When the Jews get the Torah, uh -huh. they're in singular, it refers to many. When uh -huh. God says, for example, I raise my prophet, you tell me 18 and 18, it speaks in singular, but it speaks for many. Likewise with this, when it's given to the person, he will say, I don't know the book. It's not regarding a prophet. No, that's according to your no, interpretation. No, it's not. It's the interpretation of Moses. No, okay, why the first bit? It says many, we but the last bit is okay. just says one. No, according to him. <laughs> according to him, no, according to him is one person. I take, if I take, if I take your trans the translation of the No, according to him, no me. He said, he said, I do not know. So I is one person. So the context, basically, I can say according to your, your. No, no, listen. Wait, wait, wait. He's the no, no, no. Okay, can I talk? You don't stop. You diverted the first bit of the verse which says they will be given a book. Will you say the plural? I can say that they stands for one as well. Yes. But Where you said you I stands for we. So I can say same to you uh, as well. Because when the Torah speaks in language of singular, it's referring to many. Who is the one? So that, when is a lot? Let me finish, let me finish, when is a lot? And I know you like this now, what techniques of different uh -huh. Let me finish. Uh -huh. When the book will be given, who is it given to? The whole of Israel, the Jews, uh -huh. they will say, I don't know. It's in the singular regarding the many. When it says in Jews 20, 18, 18, I raise my prophet, it's in singular regarding the many. It's always a singular no, regarding the many. You're not getting my answer. My I, I question. think I speak the language and you don't speak no, the language. No, what I'm saying is. He said I, no, he said sometimes I, it can be many. We, oui, yes. So now same what you're applying, so also I'm applying to the same. Where it says they, I can say they means in, uh, it says all, a lot. So I can give you another verse. It says God will speak to his people in a foreign language. Why your Tanakh is not foreign language? Again, again. This what is, book is that? Tell again, me, okay, again, what book? Again, this is, again, this is translated by 72 yes. different languages. Now, all I want, all I want, all I want is justifying his point by saying I means many, and I'm saying they means I as well. So he's using the end to, and, uh, inter his own interpretation. So that's what I'm saying. So another verse, God said he will speak to his people, Israelites, in a foreign language. What is that foreign language then, if it's not Hebrew? Because your language is Hebrew, and God will speak to you in a foreign language, that's Arabic, which is Quran. That's my interpretation. You cannot deny about that, the camera come here. That's my interpretation. I can give you another verse. In Genesis, Wait, brother, please, your brother, because we talk in the camera, so the camera, does the camera listen to you? So, again, so what I'm saying, no, that's your interpretation. No, it's not my interpretation. I can give another verse. Oh my goodness. No, oh I can give goodness. another verse. It's not. No, look. Can I, can I just say, before we continue on? Yeah. I want to I wanna explain the fact to everyone here yeah. that we all understand the fact that I'm not going to convince you yeah. and you're not going to convince me. But, but I'm happy to be here to have an intellectual conversation to exchange knowledge and we can... I agree with you. So I don't want to get all rowdy you and know, fight. You another whatever. verse, another verse. Go. Genesis, yes. chapter 17, verse 20. Can you come out that one? Oh, refute me if you can. I got many verses. Subhanallah. Also, some... Yeah, also, some... No, I read the uh, Testament. Genesis chapter 17 verse 20, please read for me, please. And also Psalm chapter 84 wait, verse wait, 4, wait, 5. Wait, 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 wait. That's what I want. Okay, go on, read that. What it says. Making a great what nation? What chapter? Yes. So again, the Hebrew for making a great nation is Gagadol. No, just read for me. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. And Hashem said, shall I conceal Abraham? What should I do? Now that Abraham is surely to become a great nation? Second. Abraham will become a great nation, a great mighty nation. Which verse? Okay, give me, give me. Genesis 17, 20, yeah? 17, you're in Yes, you're telling me another verse. Great nation. I want 17, 20, where God said, I've had for Ishmael, I will bless him, and I will make him great nation. So, okay. We are Jews. Yahud, Huh? Yahud. Ayo. Subhanallah, Yahud. Not Yahudi, who are uh, Israeli. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Yahud is in Arabic, Jewish. Yeah, no, Zionist Yahud. <laughs> no, no, Zionist is different. So, what, 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 what's your point? 
What, what's your point? Now I want him to read Genesis chapter 17 verse 20. And 20. I bless them. I'll make him fruitful. I will increase the mercy of He'll be a tall princess, and will make him into a great nation. Thank you. So Ishmael, God promised to make him a great nation. So that's the so the word the word for great nation Hebrew is Gadol. This time is given to the worst of peoples as well. This is a time only in numbers. For example, in the book of Psalms 438, now he's divided the topic. So you're telling me, okay? So now he's saying great nation. The reason we have cross references. No, no, I understand. From the camera, can stand here, please. Okay, you finish, then I will talk. The time in Hebrew is Goy Gadol. Goy Goy great. Goy non-Jewish and nation. Goy is a nation and Gadol is great. Great nation. Uh -huh. This time is given to the Canaanites. It's given to the worst of people this time. Go, you'll be going into a land and there will be a Goy Gadol, there'll be a big nation, a great nation. It's always great in size. This time is given to the worst of people. How can you say it includes the Ishmaelites? If you say it includes the Ishmaelites, then if you go to the bar. No, 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 stay on that point. Let me finish. Okay, okay. If you go to the bar 438, the same verse is used, the same word Goy Gadol is used to describe the worst of people. If you go to the Bar 9 1, the same word is used, Goy Gadol, to describe the worst of people. If you go to Deuteronomy 11 23, it's used to describe the Let worst. Let finish, I will listen to him. Joshua 239 is used to describe the worst of people. Okay, so now, so now he said the word God used in Hebrew, the word which means great nation, it can be negative, yes? Correct. So you it's tell size. me, it's okay, negative, okay, size. use your logic. How can God bless Ishmael if he's using for uh, him for a negative word? So how can God bless it's Ishmael? Not negative. It's a so what's of the meaning of bless? It's a of size. What's the meaning of bless? It's not no, negative. wait, it's what is the meaning of bless? It's not negative. Okay, no, he said you negative. Have, he not, said no, no. it's used no, no, no. for bad people. It's a matter of it's, No, he said it's used for bad people. It's if it's used for bad people, why would God of the Bible or Tanakh promise not used for to bless? That's what you no, said. I didn't. I said it's a... It's the a, camera is on, you said. I, okay, sure. It's a, it's a word used to describe nations big of size. There are good nations big of size, there are bad nations big of size. This verse is used to describe Ishmael. It doesn't mean... Is it a bad thing? Nation. Is it's it's a bad not, thing? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Thank you. Thank you. God is blessing Ishmael. Yes, because be if God is blessing is. Ishmael, that means he cannot be a bad person. I, His nation are great. The Canaanites, the Canaanites, yes. the Canaanites yes. are referred to by the same time. Okay, so now another verse. Go to another verse for me. No, no, I agree. God, so you don't know who are the 12 princes here? Sure, the 12 sons. Quraysh are the 12 nations. Yes, Quraysh are the 12 tribes of Quraysh here. The tribes. That's why Prof. God promised to send a prophet from the brethren of Israel. Oh my because Ishmael and Isaac, Bilom, Bilom both of them, as well. both of them, even Noah, Noah, he was a Gentile. Noah was a Gentile. Yes, right. Noah was a Gentile. So you accept uh, Noah, but you don't accept Prophet Muhammad. Why? Read from verse 1. Why do you accept Prophet Noah and you accept... I'm going to show you now. Why do you accept Prophet Noah, but you reject one. Prophet Muhammad? I'm going to tell you now. Read from verse 1. What verse? And verse 1. What he says? Verse one. The entire word that I Lamp command up. you, that shall you observe to do, you shall not add to it, and you shall not subtract from it. If there should stand up in your midst a prophet or a dreamer of a dream, a false this you want me to read this? And bit? he stands up in a prophet, a mystery dream or a dream divine. Yeah, but do you read this bit or you read that bit? Wonder. Let the sign of wonder come about by when you spoke to us, follow other gods uh -huh. and worship them. Do not hearken to the words of the prophet of the dream divine, for God is testing you. God is saying if a prophet comes and adds or takes away from the Torah, you should yeah. reject him. So Muhammad comes and Muhammad adds and takes away from the Torah. So that's no, 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 no. God, God, is, no, God above the throne thank you, of thank you. Everything. Thank you. Your God came from female private God, part. We are God, not talking no, no, to you. No, no, give me as a believing no, 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 God. No, 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 no. He doesn't believe your God. Because God he I doesn't believe Jesus. But he doesn't believe your God, Jesus. Again, another verse. Another verse. Psalm chapter 84. Because God is God. God okay, because God, I'm not, I'm not let to me speak. Okay, that verse is saying God what it says. Get out it talks, it talks about, predicts about the coming because of Prophet Muhammad and Islam. Okay. Because it says uh, to God, the evil. No, those God, are the no, blessed. No, 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 no. Let me give you the verse. No, no, infinitive long God. Let me give you the verse. Infinite yeah. God to infinitive. No, infinitive. Okay. Let me, I want the Hebrew, so I want you okay. to tell me the and Hebrew. The beginning was God. Um, the word of God. God was eight, God. Four. He, as the same as four, infinitive, infinitive. Hebrew. I want the Hebrew, so. What uh, Hebrew, yeah? Yeah. It's the same. No, <laughs> <laughs> five. 
This is the problem. Yeah, it's here. I wanted this verse you to explain to me what's your understanding. Because you said English is wrong, the translation. I want five and six. Tell me five and six. Because you said my translation is wrong, so I want to use. You tell me. This is about prophet, uh, the, uh, the coming of Prophet praise Muhammad in your book. Who, wait, wait, praiseworthy are those who dwell in your house? Yes. If you will praise them, your seller. You can keep carrying on, read, read okay. the rest. The next. Praiseworthy is a man who strength. Yes, that read the rest. You, those who are focused on Afra's past. Read the six, yeah, value six. Of value of? Thorns. 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 Here it says thorns, value. Um, like in a prickle. Where is Okay, wait. So I want you to tell me this one. Wait, wait. I want you to read this bit. Yes, Baka. Abacha. Baka. Okay. Abacha is what? Baka. This is Baka. Yeah. Do you know it's another name for Makkah in Quran? No. I can okay. give you chapter 3, verse 96. Okay, so can I tell it you says David here. Go to the Valley of wait, wait, Jerusalem. let me give you. King David goes to the Valley of Baka, Jerusalem. No, wait, wait, wait. It's, in Jeru it's next to Jerusalem. There's an area wait. in Jerusalem called Baka as well, by the way. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. There's an area in Jerusalem called Baka. No, Baka is not Baka. It says King David. <laughs> okay, wait. Went to the I studied Baka. Baka. Wait, I studied okay. wait, wait, wait. 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 David wait. Went to okay, Baka. here King it David says pilgrimage. Who does pilgrimage? Many people. We do. No, what pilgrimage do you do? Three times a year. What pilgrimage is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But where do you go? We go to Jerusalem. Yes, we so do you know this context it talks about the Zimzum water? <laughs> so is Zimzum water in J Jerusalem? Yeah, you tell me now, now. No, you tell me. Is here, look here. It talks, it about talks, this. It talks, and, if you okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm giving you the verse here. That river is right by the tomb of I'm giving you the verse right here. I'm, I, I want the Hebrew because I don't want to use the English. Because you will say it's wrong translation. It's not that it's necessarily wrong translation. The translation might be no, right. Where because he said well, the, the translation context, is wrong. Salah is a mountain in Saudi. <laughs> No, it's not. Have you read? Yes, it's. Uh, yes, read it is. Kings You're just just have you read search up. Have you read Second Kings? There's no Silla. Okay. Silla. Where is Silla? Silla is a mountain in Saudi Arabia in Medina. We know that one. Silla. And it talks Silla. about Kedar. Who is Kedar? Do you know who is Kedar? The second son of Ishmael. Wait, wait, wait. So where also... Kedar lives in Medina? Quraysh lives Makkah in Medina. No, Quraysh. No, it says the Kedar, the second son of Ishmael. Is the yeah, rock? Yeah. Also, also, also. Let is, me give you Sela here. Is the Hebrew word for also a big rock. A no, wait, give you. Let me give you here. Read this. Which read this. He struck Edom and the valley. No, here. Of I have Edom. it here. Ten thousand men and captured the rock. Yeah, and I have it here. Called the Jukata, which was I want the Hebrew one. Use. It looks Again, it. Sela. Sela. It's easy here. The no, here. Wait, 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 wait. No, but that context, the other context verse. It's about no, no, no. Context. You want context? No, no, no. Wahalas. I'm saying it says Keder, the second son of Ishmael, who is from Makkah, Keder. I know saying he lives in Medina. Yeah, I'll give you the verse. Wait, wait. Because I want the Hebrew. I want the Hebrew. Wait, I'm coming. I want the Hebrew because I don't want to use the English. This is early prophets, yes? Yeah, wait. Over here. 14. Here, here. So you go Isaiah chapter 42 verse 11. Muhammad. Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Isaiah, okay, you tell me Kedar is Kedar Israeli. What do you mean Kedar is Israeli? Kedar is Israeli. Kedar is in Arabia. Salah is in Arabia. Thank you. The verse here it says Kedar. Who is Kedar then? Quraysh. But you don't know where Salah is. But here, no, no. The context. No, I want you to read Isaiah chapter 42 verse 11. Open that one. We're going to read in a minute, but I'm not jumping to your verses. Have you read the entire Kings? Have you even read the entire Kings? No, I want you to read the context. I want the context. No, I want you to answer this one, context. Why can't we just have like a minute each? Have you read the entire Bible, yes or no? Yes. Have, have you read? Yes, of course. Have you you read, read, have, of course. Yes, yes. So you read, the, okay, read Isaiah chapter 42, 11. Read for me. Okay, so where is, where is and he admitted Kedar is the, sec, uh, is the second son or son of Ishmael. So it's got nothing to do with Israel. So I want, where is Kedar, where are they coming from? Isaiah chapter 42, why, why verse 11. Why are we starting at verse 11 for the context? No, just read. Why are we starting at verse 11? Who is Kedar? Because he's talking about Kedar. That proves Kedar. He was in Medina, Silla, Silla, the Mount Mount Silla. Search up on the internet, Mount Silla. Yes, it's in Edom. Mount Silla is in Saudi Arabia, Medina. Why doesn't it say Mount Silla? The context. The Hebrew word for mountain is not there. So there's a mountain, Sela. mountain Sela. called Silla in Medina, and also it talks about the context. The son of Ishmael. Okay, who's who's Kedar? Is Kedar Ishmaeli? Sorry. 
Coachella is in Edom. It is where Mount Seir is. Okay, That's what I'm what asking is, is Keder Ismaili, Ismail's son no. or Israel's yes. son? Yes. yes. Who is he? Yes. So, so I want you to read Isaiah chapter 42 verse 11. Can you read for me please? Alright, I want you to tell me. Yes. No, I want you to tell me. No, I want you to tell me in Hebrew. It doesn't even say the Yeah, you're trying to twist. I'm not twisting. No, you it's just. No, no, wait, wait. Isaac. No, he told me a translation because he's telling me. You twist and you're telling me a seller is not in Saudi. It's Edom. Okay, let's say the context. But this context, seller is in, in Saudi because Kedar lives in Medina. The children of Kedar lives in Medina. Isaiah 29. Because seller, it can be. It can, uh, there's one, uh, one name can have in two different countries. That can happen. Oh my now, let's, let me give you. Let me give you now. Oh Oman, Oman is a country, but here Oman is a road. No, look at Oman is a country, but Oman is a road in this country. Oman Road. See? So, Sila, the context here is the son of Ismail. Who is the context here? Look here. Okay, 20. Okay, Isaiah 40. 42. I want Hebrew. Wait. Hebrew. Hebrew 24. What you see trying to say, 42. Is really is the word is also 11. In okay, the context here, well. Hebrew, I want Hebrew. It's just trying to say like, here. Saudi Arabia was Look here. Israel. It says, it's talking about the sons of Ishmael, Kedar. So if it's Kedar, so if it's Kedar, if it's about Kedar, it's the children of Ishmael, which is Prophet Muhammad, one of them. Read for me this one. Read for me. Read for me. Okay, read for me. Explain for me. Uh -huh. Midavar, from, from something. Okay. The, or, the Orov and the cities, uh -huh. Khatsrim, uh -huh. and, and the extended smaller cities, Teshev, uh -huh. uh -huh. and the people living in those places, uh -huh. Keder, I don't know the word. Keder is Keder. the son of Israel, uh, Ishmael. No so Allah is blessing. This is the coming of Prophet Muhammad. No, you're you're just denying your verses context. is here. What context. context? The context is because you're denying. That's your context. Okay, so listen. Let's actually That's read. your context. Oh my goodness, you let me. Yes. Okay, I've realized you do this, Raj. You have an awful habit of just like keep the shouting. The Arah Chetzim Teshev Kader and the cities and the villages and uh -huh. the people in the inhabitants. What's yes. the translation to Kader? Kedar is a place. place. Kedar is a name. The son, the yeah, second yeah. son of Ishmael. He's lying. He said Kedar is a place. Yeshev, Selah. Kedar is a place where the he just said Kedar is the second Kedar's son of Ishmael. Now he said Kedar. Kedar is a place where the sons of Ishmael went to. No, no. Kedar's what I don't understand is Kedar. Kedar. <laughs> we know Kedar. Ask any Jew rabbis. They will tell you rabbis. They will tell you Kedar is the second son of Ishmael. But this guy said is the second is is a place. He's lying because you know why? Because he's rejecting Prophet Muhammad. Here it says, okay, it says even Mount Sila is in, in Medina. God's promise of the Bible, Tanakh, he said, I will bless Ismail and he will be, he will, I will make him great nation. He will become the father of 12 rulers, which is a Quraysh. Tanakh is telling us the appearance, the coming of Prophet Muhammad, but he doesn't want to because Jesus also said in the New Testament, um, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 21 verse 43, Jesus said to the Jewish people, he said there will be a time the kingdom will be taken away and it will be given to another nation who is going to produce its fruitful. And compare that one to Genesis chapter 17, chapter 17 verse 20. God said what well, of the Bible, Tanakh. He said, for Ishmael, I have had him and I will bless him. I will make him a great into a great nation, great nation, and he will be a father of the 12 rulers. So they denied because why? Because Prophet not, Muhammad was saying to everyone. We're not denying the 12 rulers. No, he denied. He just said Kedar is a place Kedar where is Rabbi a place. says is, is the second son of Ishmael. Kedar and we know the root Kedar of Ishmael. God placed Quraysh. So the kingdom was given to Quraysh, was okay. taken from can Jews. Can I say when the Bible was written, when the Bible was written at the time, yeah. the, son, the, the, the name Keder hasn't existed yet. So Again. when we when we translated and understood the Bible to what it to be, yeah. or the Old Testament, Keder was Tanakh. a place. Tanakh. Keder was a place. But only, only, I, was, no, I don't know how many centuries later did Muhammad verse, then come say, no, it's the name. According yeah. to this verse, later, it says about? where... No, let me give you another again. And then when it says Sela, Sela means a rock. Sela means it's from on top of a but rock. But it's a mountain in Saudi. But here it says, That's okay, later. let when lift up their voice, their wilderness, and its cities, the villages that inhabits Kedar. Who inhabits that cities? 
and villages Kader no, and no, no, Kader no, no. The cities there's, of Keder. No, it doesn't say the cities of Keder. No, Here no, no. it says what? Tashave Keder. Tashaev Keder. Okay. The, the, the okay. citizens of Keder. The, it says already the cities and villages. Who of, lives there? Of No, no. The citizens of Keder. That, it's that, like I'm saying the cities of London. If I say the, the city of, of Moses, does that mean the, Moses is the city? No. It didn't Thank say you. Anything, if I say Keder, the, the, the city of, of Keder means... There is no city Kader is a person. If me say, it's like me saying the city of Moses. Does that mean Moses is the city? Or if you Moses... Refer, I tell you what, in the Torah, the way that's it, where he's from. The way it refers to people, yeah. and the way it refers to places. Over here yeah. it's saying the places. I'm not going to say the places of Moses. It's going to say the places or the people of Moses. Why would it say the places of Moses? It says the people of Moses, the people of Israel come. Keder is a place. It said the citizens and the villages and the, and the inhabitants of the place. Here, here, he lied. He said Keder is a place. Genesis chapter 25. Genesis chapter 25. Go open the Bible. Go open the Bible. Genesis chapter 25 verse 13. It says Kedar is the second son of Ishmael. Open the Genesis. He said Kedar is a place. See, he's a twisting. Now you twisting. He says the second son of Ishmael. The Bible. Genesis. I'm giving you the verse. Open, open the verse. Open the verse. Show me what it says. Genesis chapter 25 verse 13. Kedar is the second son of Ishmael. Here, it's not me saying. Open Genesis, please. He just, he just called, he lied. Yeah, he lied. He, just called, he, lied. he lied because he rejects Prophet <laughs> Muhammad. <laughs> the evidence is there, clear. Genesis, which one? Genesis chapter 25, verse 13. And Sila is a mountain in Medina. 25, 13, 25, 13. Zemzem water also, Genesis chapter 21, verse 17, 21. Baka, another name for Maka is Baka in Quran chapter 3 verse 96 and in the Bible it says also Baka, another name for Maka Psalm chapter 84 verse 5, 6 well, which one? This which is person? Islam because people do not want Prophet Muhammad because he was sent to all mankind because other prophets, God did not send them to all mankind The guy lied. He said Kedar is a place. Imagine. No, here I got the verse. Just read for me, please, that verse. Please read Genesis chapter 25, verse 13. I think you go for lie. Yes, I go here. No, I will show you from here. Genesis 25. Hebrew, yes, because I want you to show you the Hebrew. Hebrews. You don't need to put the S. No, Hebrew, yeah. Isn't it the Here. You read for yourself, not me. And I will read for myself here in case if you. Yeah, just this one. I'm finishing with this one. The guy just. Last one. Last one. And these are the names of the children of Ishmael. Thank you. Listen. By their names. And according to the generations. Yes. Now it doesn't say the kids, it says according to the generation. Okay, listen, just read Genesis. The generation, the first generation will be called Ishmael. Uh -huh. The okay. second generation will be called Nevot, uh -huh. Nabeth. Nabeth. Uh -huh. The third generation after that will become Keder. Thank you, Keder, he said is a place. Allahu Akbar. And the generation? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. It doesn't say he said Keder is a place. And Kedar is the son, one of the sons of Ishmael. Before you said that, you agreed with I, your Jew I, man. I agree that it's a place. Where is he? Where is he? I agree it's a Where place. Where is the guy? Here, Kedar. Yes. Then Kedar is the children of Ishmael. Here. Yeah. They said Kedar is a place. Allahu Akbar. So, I'm saying, he also twisted Isaiah chapter 12, verse 20, chapter 29, chapter 29, verse 12. He said, the book will be given to many people. But the last bit it says, the illiterate will say, I do not know how to read. How can many people use the word I? See, he was lying as well. Yeah, anyways. A Kedarite kingdom emerged on the east flank. No, no, I want you to read chapter 25. It's a place. I'm you here on the east I'm showing Kedar is what here? Kedar here is what? According to Bible is what? Tanakh? Generation. Do you want Tanakh or you want... No, he's using his interpretation, but I'm using the Bible, Tanakh. So which one comes first? Tanakh comes first. Allahu Akbar. 
Genesis chapter 25 verse 13. It says, and these were the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names. What is their names? According to the generations, generations the firstborn of Ishmael. First okay, listen. The firstborn of Ishmael is ne Naboj. Na oh, how do you read? Neba, Joth, Neba, Nevios. Then Keder. The second, the second generation, the children of Ishmael. The second one is what? Keder. On, so on, come next on time. On the banks of Canaan. Now that's a Google map. Tanakh. So which one comes as Tanakh or Google map? Tanakh, Tanakh comes say, first. So when say, he wants to use Tanakh, he doesn't okay, use okay, Google okay, Maps. Okay. okay. I'm using Google Maps because I don't know exactly the area, but I can show you exactly. But I'm, I'm using on Tanakh. The banks of Syria, so before you say a place called Keder, which is right above okay. Israel, so, where it's right where they came. They said from here will grow a great nation of the twelve sons and generations called Ishmael and Nebulus or whatever. So no, it says the, the sons of says, Ishmael. Who are the sons? Among of them is what? Keder. And the, them, the other Jew man and what another one right? said right? Kedar means is a place. Okay, okay. You have a and conversation I proved, with me or you have yeah, a conversation no, with him? No, you. All right. Yeah. We have the name Israel yes. and the place Israel. Mm -hmm. You have the name Kedar uh -huh. and the place Kedar. You have to see what it's saying. If it's talking about the generation of the sons, yes, I agree with you. There's a son but before you said it's a place. And it depends what, what but I was giving you the context. You gave me two, you gave me no, two I was giving you the context. No, books. I was giving you the context. One in Genesis. No, I give you Isaiah chapter 42, verse 11. Where it says, verse, and, and the verse citizens 11. of Kedem. Yeah. And then you gave me Genesis in another place where it says, the people of Kedem. So, it's two so, different things. You have so the now, people of Israel and you have the children of Israel. So now the context where it says Kedem, the children of uh, one of the children of Ishmael, yeah. which is Kedem. Yeah. So that means. Go, Tanakh is telling us the appearance of Prophet Muhammad. That's why it says God will speak to his people in a foreign language, which is Arabic. And this is, tells us that Ishmael, the descendant or the offspring of Ishmael, one of them will become a prophet and he will be blessed because he is one of the children of, the, he is one of the descendants of Ishmael. I do not deny that he might have been a prophet to you. So that's yeah. a prophet, and he was but because I deny that no, no, he is, no, I, he's I, a I prophet. He's a prophet to the Bible. No, he's a prophet to Israelites. Because do you know why? Because in Isaiah chapter there are twenty-eight, of prophets, verse ten to eleven, verse ten to twelve, God said to Israelites, God will speak to His people in a foreign language, in a foreign language which is Arabic, and it says the illiterate will be given. It's the one who Arabic, doesn't know, Arabic. that's Aramaic. Arabic. No, Aramaic. that's Arabic. Arabic is a little different. No, that's Arabic. No, Arabic. into foreign language, it says foreign Arabic. language. Arabic. If Aramaic is similar to Hebrew, Arabic. then it cannot be foreign language. You have two languages in Hebrew. Yes. You have the Holy Tongue of Hebrew. That means that prophet must come outside from Israel. That's a foreign language. Come next week. Yeah, anyways, I'm finished. I'm done. Nice. I was an Thanks honor. To What's your name again? Siraj. Siraj Shimon. Yeah, it means I had sunlight. An absolute, my name is to heal. <laughs> yeah. Shimon my, my to hear and sunlight. to heal. But to bless you. Yeah. Okay. And may God bless you no and every all the no, Jewish people. I really and appreciate Muslim people. I really and all appreciate. The world. May peace have amongst our people. Yeah, I really appreciate you specifically. Because the way you was talking to me, it was polite and nice conversation. I appreciate you. But your other friend, tell him to not. Some people, do not are, some twist people the are a little enthusiastic. Yeah, I know, I understand, I understand, I understand. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Thank I'm you. I'm next week, I'm flying yeah. across the world already. Yeah, no, thank I'm you. Off. But try to read Quran and Tanakh properly. It's you know about what? Prophet I, Muhammad. I, I love to learn about different. Do, do you know the Zimzam water? I don't know the Zimzam water. Yeah. Zimzam water, the holy uh, water in Islam. The holy water in Islam. Do you know it's in the uh, Tanakh as well? What? Shall I give you? Yes. Yes, I can give you. You've got time? Yeah, no, just this one. I'll give you, I'll give him the verse. I want in Hebrew, you to read in Hebrew, yeah? Because I know you will say I got wrong translations. Yes. Zimzum, Zerez, yes. Zerez is no, no, is I'm just telling you exactly where Ismail was when Hagar, Hagar was running away. A was problem, running a big problem in and out. amongst the generation is that Hebrew has many translations. Genesis 21 17. No, I'll give so you the So sometimes here. when it says one, it can say something else different. Genesis. Just this one, yeah? I'm going. Yeah, this one only. Yeah, just this one. Genesis 21, 17. We carry on all the way to 21. I want the Hebrew one. Yeah, I want you to read for me this. It's about in, in Mecca. Read. Please read for me. Read that bit. Read the translation, please. Yes. Et kol hanav. 
And yes. you will hear the God. They will last hear. one, last verse. The voice of God. Ganar in the river, and it will yes. be called. Yes. Malach, the angel of God. Uh huh. Ela Gar. And they came to Gar is the is, uh, is the people. Mina Shema, we came from the heavens. Baomer and told to her, Malacha Gar. What does what allies you? This is twenty-one seventeen. Okay. Lokim El Kol Anav Basher I want you to translate. I want you to translate that bit so we can conclude with that one in English. The problem is it goes word for word. Yeah, okay. And Hebrew doesn't. It's no, not the I will same say, translation. I will say like. translation. Yeah. And the voice of God will be heard. Yes. Basically, it says, the river or the boy? The boy. It says the boy of the boy. Ain. Ain? No, boy. The boy, yes. That's the Ishmael. Karen, the context even will tell you. Uh -huh. And he will call, and, uh, and he called the angel of God. Yes. Elagar. To Hagar. Hagar. The mother of Ishmael. Hagar, the mother of Ishmael. The mother of Ishmael. The mother of Ishmael. The mother of Ishmael. Thank you. God. from the heavens. And he told her, Yes. What lies with you, Hagar? Yes. Altire. Do not fear. Because God has heard your prayer. Yes. In Medina, this is in Makkah. I'll call now onto the uh -huh. voice of the Nar, the Asher Usham, because I know that he is there. Yes, okay, read the next bit. Do you know, do you know what it's talking no, read about? Read the next bit. No, I want you to about? read the next bit. I want to show you the Zimzum water. The Zimzum water, I know where he's going with this. I yeah, know where go, he's going. read this. This is when read Abraham there. kicked out his son Ishmael. His son kicked the well, so that Zimzum water is here. Read. And she made a prayer to God. Uh -huh. and, he, and God respect. Okay. Kumish say. Uh -huh. Arise and lift, uh -huh. now the boy, uh -huh. and Say hold him. with your hand, uh -huh. or hold keep his hand, because uh -huh. uh -huh. a great nation I will make from him. Yes, okay, carry on the, the, the other bit. So we are coming almost there. We are about to finish. Mm -hmm. And God, and now God um, opened her yes. eyes. Uh -huh. And she saw a well, uh -huh. a well of water. Yes. Uh -huh. And she went uh -huh. to Malay and she filled it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. is what? It says here the skin. I don't the water. What's that? The skin with water. Yeah, this vessel. Oh, like a, like yeah, a, like vessel. With a say it now. Oh, like give, a little yeah. oh, Okay. And but, and but give. Check it now, and you will give to the boy to drink. Yes. And the other last bit, twenty. Right here, looking. Uh huh. It now. So it was God was with the boy, the Igdal. And he grew, and he shaved, and he dwelt by Midbar in the wilderness. See, that's Giza in Arab. Keshet. And he became Ar a great. It says here, archer. Keshet is not archer. It's an arch. He became an archer? Yes. And he dwelt. Read the last bit. See? Read the last bit. No, that's the Zimzum water. Not the name, but Zim water is there. That's the water when he kicked. You call it Zimzum water. Show me. That's the holy water. Show me where it says the word Zimzum water. Because they were. Do you know where they were in this incident? Do you know why they were? Ask all rabbis. No, ask all rabbis. Even in the Bible, it says in Tanakh, it says when Ishmael Sarah got mad at a Hagar, she kicked, they kicked them out of the city and they moved, they went to Abraham went with Hagar in Arabian land. Abraham didn't go with her. Yes, he went and he left them there. He took them out and then yes, they went Yes, he left them there. So that's when this incident happened. This is about the Zimzum water. Okay, can because I there was no I water that it was desert. Can I interpret this? Water. It can was I desert. Say, can I, Zimzum water. But it's Zimzum water. It says water. But it doesn't say no water, any water, can but I, it's Zimzum I, water here. Yes, we call it Zimzum. Water. water, but it's Zimzum water. That's the context. Yeah, that, no, that's the Zimzum water. According to us, yeah. it's just the well. God created a well in the middle of nowhere as a miracle. You know that well now is still now in Medina, in Makkah. You know Makkah. Okay, now that water until now we use that water we drink it. Were they in that area? They weren't no, in that area. Ask any, yeah, they were. Ask any rabbis. You can ask any rabbis. No, you bring, you just rejected. I am using your buzzes. God blessed Ishmael and his, his offspring. So, so by what? Choosing one of his offspring to become a prophet. 
Yes. He will become a great nation. God said to you, He will speak to you in a foreign language. What's foreign language? Is that Hebrew or Aramaic? That's Arabic. God said he will speak to his people in a foreign language. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 10, 12. That's Arabic. You cannot say it. Give me any other. Now, Aramaic is similar to Hebrew. That can never be a foreign. No, that can never be in a foreign language. That's Arabic. Okay, see you. Assalamu alaikum. See you. Thank you, Elius. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. See you then. God bless you, brother. God bless you, brother. Same. Thank you so much. Good discussion.